The healthcare industry has boomed over the last few years, growing twice as fast as the national economy. As the industry continues to grow, there will be a high demand for quality health care professionals. Parang narinig ko po siya sa news, tungkol po siya dun sa uh, pagpupromote po ng uh, rights po ng ano, ng, hindi ko lang po matandaan pero, pero, Basta may something about rights po siya. Hmm, naririnig ko lang sa mga yun. Hindi ano. ko alam yung JP, but sorry. Um, yun na yung ano yung yeah. profit na sila ko ngayon sa Japan. Uh, parang yun na. Actually, um, hindi ako familiar. <laughs> Pwede po. JPEPA is a comprehensive bilateral trade agreement between Japan and the Philippines. It aims to facilitate and promote the free trans-border flow of goods, persons, services, and capital between the Philippines and Japan, and strengthen the existing economic relations between the two countries. It was signed September 9, 2006 in Helsinki, Finland by former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo and Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi. Agree kung agree, pero kung titignan mo kasi yung estado ng needs ng health dito sa Philippines, sa tingin ko, mas kailangan natin ng um, nurse na dito sa Philippines kesa sa Japan. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na hindi ako pupunta, pero as of today kasi mas nakikita ko na mas kailangan pa ng nurse dito sa Philippines. Doon sinasabi na parang marami na daw nurse. Pero pag titignan mo talaga, um, parang hindi naman kasi maayos yung distribution. So, para sa akin, as of today, hindi mo na ako pupunta sa Japan. Parang sa tingin ko, okay lang naman siya. Kasi siguro yung mga requirements na yun, basic siya para makapag-ibang bansa. Di ba nga sabi nga sa... May subject kasing prof ad, yun yung laws ng mga nurses. Um, required din talaga, bago ka makapag-ibang bansa, na mag magkaroon ka ng at least 3 years dito sa Philippines na mag-work as a nurse after mo mag-boards, pag nakapasa ka na, ganyan. Pero siguro mahirap siya, pero maganda din kasing experience yung makapunta ka sa Japan. Lalo na yung technology dun, compared sa Philippines, maganda talaga. Like yung machines nila na 2D echo, CT scan, maganda talaga yung Parang high-tech talaga, pati yung hospital nila doon, sobrang high-tech. So, siguro ibang experience nila. Sa course ng nursing, konti lang ang, ang job opportunities dito. So, magandang experience din mag-work sa Japan. Tapos, for me personally, gusto ko din kumulit ng Japan. So, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's a good opportunity. Kahit na it would take a whole lot of effort para ma ma ipasa yung exam, at least may security yung job. Tsaka, like for now, kasi mahirap yung employment ng mga nurses. Parang kahit na matagal, kailangan ng theory experience and yung kailangan nakapasa ka sa board, si license and yung but yung Nihongo, I think it would be good at least my opportunity na magtrabaho sa ibang bansa. Magtrabaho sa Japan. Kasi po, kung dito sa Pilipinas, ano na natin lahat na meron na ano, uh, overnight nurses, masyado nang marami. So, kung dito, magsaya ako dito, parang walang chance na mag-practice ko yung career. Yun. Pero kung sa Japan, siguro, na konti, na, konti pala, nangangailangan pa sila. So, go na, di ba? So, tayong opportunity. Chapter 9 of DJ Peppa, or Movement of Natural Persons, includes natural persons who engage in supplying services as nurses or certified care workers or related activities on the basis of a contract with a public or private organization 
or on the basis of admission to a public or private training facilities. List of professions include legal services, accounting and taxation services, health care professionals, architectural and engineering services, computer-related services, advertising and management consulting services, translation and interpretation services, services incidental to agriculture, audio-visual services, higher education services, tourism and travel services, entertainment services, and maritime transport services. Requirements needed for Filipino nurses to be employed that they should pass the Philippine licensure exam, undergo skills and language training for six months in Japan, and pass the Japanese nursing examination written in Nihongo. Requirements needed for caregivers to be employed that they should finish a four-year college course, undergo skills in language training for six months in Japan, and pass the Japanese national exam written in Nihongo. Siguro. <laughs> kung kasama pa, maybe. Ay, kung kasama pa. Oo. Kung hindi po kasama yung family. Hindi, no? <laughs> so far, only 15 nurses and one caregiver have passed the licensure exam since 2010, even though nearly 240 nurses and 400 caregivers have come from the Philippines since 2009. Sa JP pa yun nga, yung magsusuplay ng mga nurses sa Japan kapalit yung hospital waste nila na ilalagay sa atin. Ang alam ko rin, ang requirement nila doon usually is 3 years sa practice dito. Tapos, not guaranteed na once na makapunta ka doon is sure na yun. Kasi minsan may mga uh, exams pa sila like yung Nihongo language. Pag nabagsak mo siya, pwede ka nilang pabalikin dito. Uh, yun lang. Ano po? Sa, sa, kung ako pa pipilit or if my opportunity or ano, pwedeng i-grab ko. Okay lang sa akin na i-grab ko yung... Other countries pa wala kayong bala? Other countries, meron. Pero ano po yung parang, ano po sa tingin mo mas bibigay ng more benefit than sa bad or for example yung... Uh, para sa akin, kung yung, kung yung agreement nila na magtatapon ng hospital race, siguro parang hindi siya, hindi ko siya igagrab kung may opportunity naman sa US, di ba? So, pwedeng sa US na lang. Agreement ng In exchange of these services, the medical or hospital wastes of Japan will be dumped here in the Philippines.
This has earned the ire of the Filipinos and has made them stage protests. Is this what we really want? Think about it.